Well, at least with Marco, we're starting to get a better idea of what to expect here. We're going to start off with this storm currently still holding at a hurricane strength. Even as we speak here, convection not looking as organized as it did this morning. However, though, the National Hurricane Center still reports, as is the latest advisory, that the winds are holding at 75 miles per hour. So it is expected to it still take a path towards the New Orleans area here, impacting a lot of the Louisiana coast, actually pretty much all of it at this point, and eventually spilling its way into Texas and becoming a remnant low by the time we get to roughly the Wednesday afternoon evening time frame. So looks like this system at least right now staying south of the Arklamis, but Laura is the one that we really need to be keeping an eye out on. Tropical storm strength at least at this hour and it is at 60 miles an hour. And again, it has passed the Hispaniola Islands now making uh, to portions of uh, Cuba here. But notice the circulation staying generally over water. The islands are not really having too much of an impact on it. And this is the up most updated track that we're watching. Now staying south of uh, Cuba here and eventually getting the open ocean and uh, eventually making it close to the Arklamis. More details to come up a little bit later on in the newscast, what we can expect here locally. Chelsea.